hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, today um, I'm going to be doing a vlog on Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts May 2021 part 2 so just before we get into it and um, could you please subscribe to my channel um, it's the red and white subscription button if you're new here also click the notification bell I upload five times a week on both channels and it's also so you never miss um, a vlog and um, at this week I'm on holiday uh, from work for the week so I'm able to put in um, extra work yes which is really good um, and if you also click my join button it's the blue and white um, button and you can join my uh, travel memberships from as little as 99 pence per month for extra perks so let's jump right into it um, number one BBC News COVID in Scotland some quarantine free for foreign travel to be allowed a traffic light system allowing travel to uh, some countries is not set to be introduced at uh, the BBC understands so Scotland are going to allow some travel uh, to some countries so again it's probably better um, if you check the, the Scottish news for that for people in Scotland now number two the green list countries new rule from May the 17th for England's reveal the B this is from the BBC news 12 destinations have been uh, put onto the green list um, for people in England meaning everyone returning will not need to quarantine from the 17th of May 2021 a new traffic light system of rules means international travel will no longer be illegal however um, placed on the green list however if the country is which uh, includes uh, Portugal, Israel and Gibraltar uh, they also have their own restrictions who uh, can visit from abroad however Turkey, the Maltese and Nepal will be added to England's red list unfortunately from at 4am uh, tomorrow the 12th of May meaning travellers from these uh, destinations will have to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days on their return the biggest uh, group however is the amber list which includes popular European destinations such as Spain, Italy and France people returning from those countries um, have to isolate from home for at least five days but Mr Shap said no one should be travelling to those destinations at the moment anyway so number three BBC News says which countries are, are on the green list for um, holidays or for foreign holidays uh, from the 17th of May people in England will be able to take holidays abroad in small number of countries uh, without having to quarantine when they return those countries are Portugal, Israel, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, Brunei, Iceland, Gibraltar, Falkland Islands, Faroe Islands, South Georgia and the Sandwich Islands, St Helena and Tristan D. Kornha and Ascension Highland. Uh, the list will be reviewed every three weeks however countries uh, can be added or removed at short notice so in my opinion I don't think it's worth at the at the moment um, 
booking a foreign holiday for uh, July, August time or any time soon I would definitely wait until at least uh, until September onwards or you may be better booking this year for next year in my opinion um, because I just think it's too soon and again countries can be added to the red and amber list um, number four BBC news um, people should not be traveling to amber and red list countries for leisure most countries are on the amber list and 43 countries are now on the red list including Turkey India Nepal Maldives Brazil South Africa um, so again there's a lot of countries on the red list and amber list and only about 12 countries on the green list um, at the moment so uh, number five the telegraph.co.uk the government roadmap to lift lockdown restrictions step three um, the seven, on the 17th of May which is next Monday up to six people and two households may meet um, indoors overnight stays are allowed um, up to 30 people may meet outdoors and pubs, bars, cafes, restaurants can open indoors and um, indoor entertainment such as museums and cinemas can resume and outdoor events allowed um, up to 400,000 attendees or 50% at capacity, social distancing and physical, uh, close physical contact with friends and family. And a matter of personal judgment, no, no uh, limit to attendees at funerals. Um, up to 30 people can attend weddings and life events. Uh, care home residents mm -hmm. are allowed and mm -hmm. a hotel B&B sport and gym classes may reopen. Overseas holiday permitted to green list countries. Um, no face coverings required in secondary school classrooms and in-person tea permitted at universities so um, from next Monday uh, the 17th of May we have got a lot to look forward to in the UK uh, such as cafes restaurants and pubs being able to open indoors and go to indoor exercise classes um, if you want to and like more events that uh, can go on and more people can attend events which is re really good and um, I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for my introduction video and another footage vlog on at uh, Colville Colliery or Snibston Colliery Park, the golf course, etc. So bye for now and um, have a gr as good day and as nice as possible. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.